about test experiment is a simple chemical procedure which uniquely identify a substance. It is one method on the chemical analysis. Keep in mind, chemical analysis is divided into two sides. Quantitative analysis is attempt to answer question involving how much, as you did in the experiment in chapter percentage of composition and titration. Qualitative analysis deals with the identification of elements or compounds in an unknown sample, which we are going to do today. So, the objectives for the experiment today are to understand qualitative analysis and to find ions in an unknown solution. Today, each unknown sample in the test tube here contains three ions. You need to find out what ions are. The principle of each ion will have its own reagent and get a positive test. To see the positive test, you need to have three test tubes for testing each ion. First test tube label with B as a blank test to see the result of the negative test because pure water is added into this tube. Water do not react with any reagent. It is also showing that the reagent do not contaminate. Second test tube label with C stand for control test. In this tube, known ion will be added. Hence, when the right reagent is added, the positive test will display. The last test tube label with U, meaning of unknown ion. The unknown sample will be added. If it reacts with the same reagent with control, the positive or negative test will be shown depending on what ions in the unknown. For example, carbonate ion testing. 1 ml of testing liquid like water is dropped into the B tube and 1 ml of sodium carbonate which is carbonate ion is dropped into the C tube and 1 ml of unknown sample is added into U tube. Now, Crude the reagent for carbonate ion testing is hydrochloric acid. Each till hydrochloric acid is added. Carbonate ion reacts with proton or acid to get carbonic acid, which is not stable. So it decomposes to get carbon dioxide gas. So positive test for carbonate ion is gas carbon dioxide. Hence, in C2, bubble will be observed. Where B2, no bubble is seen. If no bubble is formed in the U2, meaning there are no carbonate ion in an unknown sample. Keep in mind, if student observe less bubble than that in C2, it is also mean that positive tests occur. Do the same as B tube, C tube, and U tube by adding 20 drops of water, sulfate ion from sodium sulfate, and sample. The reagents are added by 20 drops of hydrochloric acid, following by 2 or 3 drops of barium chloride. What happens now? Sulfate ion will react with barium ion to get barium sulfate, which is a white precipitate. So the positive test will be white precipitate. Now look carefully after barium chloride is added into the U-tube. If the sample contains sulfate ion, white precipitate will be formed. If no precipitate, it is negative, it means that no sulfate ion in the sample. Keep in mind, the amount of precipitation might not equal due to the difference in concentration of sulfate ion. Mm -hmm. 
in the case of phosphate ion testing, do the same by adding water, phosphate ion, and sample in the B tube, C tube, and U tube. Then add the reagent by adding nitric acid, following by ammonium molybdate. Once ammonium molybdate is added, it will react with phosphate ion to get the precipitate of ammonium phosphate molybdate, which is yellow precipitate. So in the C2, we will see yellow precipitate. If in the C2 cannot be seen, dip the tube into the hot bath. Comes to chromate ion test. Do the same by adding water, chromate ion, and sample 20 drops each. Then add nitric acid and hydrogen peroxide. The control tube will be seen the positive test where the solution turn blue. Observe the color change into the U tube. Now is an example of spot test for finding acetate ion. By adding tested liquid like water, acetate ion, and sample. Then add the reagent is sulfuric acid. As sulfuric acid is added, it reacts with acetate ion to get acetic acid, which is a vinegar odor. In this test, please be careful on testing the odor by varying order by hand. Do not directly smear the odor. The last ion to be tested is ammonium ion. It reacts with hydroxide from sodium hydroxide to get the ammonia gas, which turns the red litmus paper to blue. Hence, after adding the test liquid, reagent sodium hydroxide is added and test with red litmus wet on the wash glass or sterling lot. Be careful, do not let the liquid in contact with the litmus paper. In conclusion on spot test on ion reagents and positive tests, the positive test might be bubble or precipitate or color of the solution change. For example, the test of sulfate ion and chloride ion get the same positive test is white precipitate, but it uses different of reagent right here. Hence, keep in mind, each ion gives positive test with their own reagent. Always generated by this lab is toxic and must be disposed in the hazardous waste container only. <laughs>